Well, hi, Shoreline. This is your weekly devotional for Wednesday, July 8th. I hope you had a great 4th of July. I hope you took time to be thankful to God for the freedoms that we have, to pray for our country, for our leaders, for peace in our world. And I wanna read a, a Psalm that really fits well for this time in our lives and in our world with turmoil and conflict. Listen to these words from Psalm 133. How good and how pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. It's a call for unity, that there's peace and joy in walking in unity. It is like precious oil poured on the head, running down on the beard, running down on Aaron's beard, down the collar of his robe. As it, it is as if the dew of Hermon were falling on Mount Zion. For there the Lord bestows his blessing, even life forever more. That's the whole psalm. Short and sweet, but powerful. A few insights here. First, this, this, this declaration, how good and how pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity in a divided, conflicted world. If Christians can't walk in unity, our world's going to have a hard time because I don't know who can. I know lots of groups who can't walk in unity. Uh, just watch the news for five minutes and you can start to say, well, they, there's not any unity here. There's not any unity here. Even in certain groups and, and parties, there's conflict within them. But if Christians can love each other, one of the things I love about Shoreline Church is Shoreline Church has people from every possible walk of life. We have people that aren't Christians yet and that are Christians. We have people from both sides of the political aisle that are part of our church. We have people who live on the streets and who people live in very nice, uh, wealthy neighborhoods. We have people that are not Christians yet and, and are, are almost... Resist, they're, they're kind of, somebody's just kind of pressured them to come to show people who are just passionately in love with Jesus. We've got a whole continuum of people, young and old, every background, and yet we love each other. You know what unites us together? Jesus Christ. How good and how pleasant it is when God's people dwell together in unity. If you are feeling divided from brothers and sisters in Christ, figure it out. Go to them. Resolve it. If you're not feeling a sense of reconciled relationship with somebody that's broken, seek reconciliation. That's the heart of God. And there's this call, not just celebrating the, the joy of unity, but calling us to more and more unity. And then there's this, this kind of a strange picture. You know, it, it, this kind of unity is so beautiful. It's, it's kind of like oil that someone pours on your head. You go, that doesn't sound like a good thing. Oil running down on a beard. Oil running onto the, you're the collar of your robe. You're like, man, that just seems messy and dirty and somebody get, get to clean my shirt now. That, that's not the picture. In the ancient world, uh, th there was anointing oils that were fragrant and beautiful and they were a picture of the presence of the Holy Spirit. And so the sense of this overflowing, outpouring of the presence and the glory of God. Now that's worth celebrating. That brings peace to our lives. And if we walk in that, we can walk in unity with each other. And then this short little psalm ends with these words. For there the Lord bestows his blessing, even life forevermore. Eternal life is in the hands of the living God. And he's offered it to all people through faith in Jesus Christ. If you're a follower of Jesus Christ, you live every single day profoundly aware, or at least you should be, that you have a eternity before you, heaven as your home, and God waiting with his arms open for you. And if you're not yet a follower of Jesus, through Jesus Christ, he offers you grace and forgiveness and new life. I encourage you to have a great rest of your week walking in unity with others, feeling the peace of the presence of the Spirit on you and living with the hope of eternal life, which is promised through faith in Jesus Christ. God bless you. Have a great week.